Hello everybody, and welcome to my channel. It's Snowsome here. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a first time ever I record a tutorial um, or quick tip video. So, and I'm not sure about my English commentary because I'm not, um, my first language is not English and I would say, I'm not, I don't know my English is actually good enough to tell all the information this video contains or I want to tell. So, yeah, let me just move on to the explanation. So, you see, here is a widget hair object in the billboard, and it has two political systems. First one is front, and second one is back and side. And in this tutorial, uh, in this video, I don't want to talk about or show the front hair particle system. So let me just hide this. And secondly, I want to talk about the. I want to talk about only about the hair dynamics option. So let me just hide. All of the children particles. The back and side particle system has so. Yeah, you see there is a bunch of hair particles onto this object, but the problem in here it will appear when I run the simulation or just uh, click spacebar and play the animation so you see yeah you and and including me would expect that all of these hair particles would move together by Blender's dynamic system, but it, it just doesn't. Yeah. So yeah, it just kind of uh, irritating, and uh, when I first first time when I saw this problem. Um, I have no idea what should I do for <laughs> this issue to solve. So after a long time of struggling to solve this problem, I found uh, one single and uh, pretty much, I think, very easy solution for this. So. First thing you need to do is to enter the particle edit mode when when you selecting this kind of glitchy object and secondly select all the particles that the object object has and lastly, um, right click the mouse button and select unify them. So, by doing this, all of the problems uh, I or this object had disappeared instantly. So, when you go back to the object mode and play the animation, you'll see that 
all of the particles is now moving together by just uh, one mouse button clicking. So it is the solution for this problem. But yeah, you would think that there's how to say the reason why this works is kind of hard to understand or it just doesn't make sense at all but I think this is kind of the scaling of uh, sorry I think I mean I think this problem was caused by the scales of the individual hair particles had so I'm not sure all the people who are watching this video can understand this feeling but yeah, if you have uh, if you have done cloth simulation or sometime, some kind of simulation in the, by using Blender uh, you maybe firstly struggle about the scale of the objects because when you set the object scale object scale like 3 or kind of big for the most of the time you will get unwanted results or broken simulation results eventually so you well you would want to set all the properties set to default especially for the rotation and scale of the object but I think the hidden property the particles each particle hair have will kind of affect to the final simulation result and when I look up the blender documentation I actually saw that the explanation about this tool so it just says this tool is used to make all selected hair uniform length by finding the average length so it says that kind of formalizing the uh, all of the particles scale or length so it just make a little bit sense a little bit of sense why this solved this problem or issue but yeah even at now I can't fully understand why this problem occurred at the first place and why this option solved all the problems instantly but yeah I hope this quick tip help uh, a lot of people who are watching my video. So, yeah, thank you for watching.